chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I just wanted to start off the vlog. I'm just starting it off randomly. I'm sitting here editing and I'm trying to avoid getting on social media because my timeline is just full of posts about Twitch from the Ellen show and how he committed and how so many people really just didn't see it coming. And the thing is, I know that so many people are fighting these like silent battles. It's just like such an emotional thing for me because it's just so true that you don't know what people are going through. And I feel like every day I'm seeing or hearing about someone that took their, I don't even want to say it. I just don't even know. Like, I just want to tell people. I'm trying not to cry. Let me breathe because it just makes me so emotional. It makes me so sad. I'm sorry I wasn't I wasn't trying to cry but the reality is we really don't know what people are going through and it's tough because a lot of the times when situations like this we don't really see it coming or you don't see it coming or whatever but I feel like there are just so many people who are fighting these silent battles and dealing with these silent struggles and I feel like over the last several months years actually the last couple of years life has just been it's been tough you know i feel like so many people are just struggling mentally and sometimes it's really hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel sometimes you feel like you're making progress but then you you wake up the next day and you feel like you're regressing i don't know it's 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 really tough for so many people and and it honestly it just breaks my heart because people are tired I talk about mental health on my channel. I talk about how I'm in therapy. I've been in therapy for a while now. It's crazy because my therapist told me that she's seen a huge influx in her clientele over the last couple of years. So that lets me know that a lot of us are trying to do something about our mental health, but sometimes the battle seems never ending. And I understand that. And I feel like that's the reason why people are just giving up the fight. No one wants to fight anymore and struggle anymore and honestly i just don't feel like i just don't feel like life is supposed to be this hard and it's it's just so sad and i just want to tell you guys that i love you i really do and i'm praying for every single one of you especially those who are fighting the silent battles because i just know it's not easy i'm so sorry that you have to go through whatever it is that you're going through or struggle with whatever it is that you're struggling with i know it's not easy um and i'm i'm just sorry and just know that i'm praying for you i love you it's going to get better i wish that i could give you all a hug i just wanted to get on here and say that because man it's heavy I'm gonna start with the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Hi everybody, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. We're back with another Vlogmas. I'm so excited to have you here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, join the family, and become a seashell or a bombshell or both. 
we would love to have you over here if you are new here i am shelly your new favorite youtuber so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like i said join the family so i'm getting a fresh start to the vlog i did like a little montage of showing you guys me doing my makeup i was trying to film a tiktok that was like an epic fail i used the new milk makeup that i got first reaction i was a fan of the little concealer that they had or the under eye brightener but i don't know if i use too much of it or what but it is starting to crease under my eyes and i did set it with powder none of my other like under eye brighteners or concealers do that so i'm not really too sure what that's about the skin tint was not my shade it was two shades lighter than me so that didn't work out the bronzer that i tried using did not show up on my skin so yeah there's that the primer love love the milk primer i like the matte one and i also like the grip i forget what it's called hydro grip that one is amazing i like their setting spray love the lip plumper and i haven't tried the brow product but yeah so that's what i have as far as i can update on the milk makeup that i <laughs> tried to use i'm gonna edit my tiktok and hopefully it turned out right and i can post it or whatever so if you're not following me on tiktok go follow me at i am shelly with two y's i just came from dropping my mom off at the airport my mom is going back home today uh, back to houston if you're new here or you haven't seen the previous vlogs my mom was here for a week she lives in houston but she came into town to like see everybody and also help out my younger sister who recently had a baby so yeah there's that my mom was in town so she just left she's at the airport so i decided to stop at cajun boil which is where my best friend works my best friend muff is a bartender so she bartends at cajun so i just called her and told her that i was going to stop up here and see her while i was out this way so i don't have to be stuck in the traffic going back home and so that i can eat i kind of want some oysters so we're gonna go in here i didn't get a chance to show you guys my outfit because i was kind of rushing but i have on this little freddy krueger looking sweater that i got from zara jacket is zara actually my whole outfit is zara because my jeans i just have on some wide leg jeans with the ripped knees i'll show you guys my outfit once i get home but um yeah, I'm just wearing like these heel boots and stuff too. And my Louis Vuitton bag. Oh yeah, and Gucci sunglasses. But like I said, I'll show you guys my outfit once I get home. It's kind of cute. I just sort of threw something on. I didn't really have time to switch in between things because my mom is someone who likes to be at the airport three hours early. And I just didn't really want to hear her mouth or I didn't want her to yell at me <laughs> for not moving quick enough. So I was like, let me just go. We rushed out the house and got her to the airport. Say hi to the vlog. Y'all come see my bestie at Cajun in, uh oh, zooming. Come see my bestie at Cajun in Oak Brook. Cajun Boyle, Oak Brook. They have such amazing food and she's such a good bartender. And y'all gonna love her when you see her. Cause she the, can I say it? She the finest one over here. So. <laughs> so my family is doing Christmas. Like we're all doing Christmas so we're doing like Christmas PJs and all that. I don't think she's coming back. She don't want to come back to the cold, but we're doing it at. Who the fuck is this? All right, I don't know, girl. I've been getting like random calls. I told you middle part. You said middle part. You know when I looked at it. Look, but when I looked at it, everyone was saying side part, right? Side part was winning. And then towards the end of the night, I looked at it again, like once I was already done in middle part one. I said. Y'all go to hell. But I needed to get a middle part a break anyway. Cause I've been doing, I've been middle part crazy. Thank you. Y'all, I can't really talk to y'all up in here because I'm gonna get copyrighted. YouTube is not playing with me. They've been copywriting my videos. I've been having to trim out a lot, a lot lately. So I'm gonna be doing like B-roll footage. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all when I leave here though. Okay. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand, take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy. Families near, we give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing. 
compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smile. I'm finally home and I just want to show you guys my outfit. I am wearing my Gucci sunglasses, these oversized frames, and they are in like a dark brown color. I have on this sweater from Zara. It's striped purple and orange. I'm only saying the color because I don't know how well it picks up on camera or translates on camera. Wide leg jeans have been my go-to again and they are wrinkled you guys because I, like I said earlier, I was rushing to leave my house and I could not... Oh my god i tried using the wrinkle releaser it didn't work too much and then my mom clearly sent me off and told me that it didn't look bad it's all good though jacket is also from zara i showed this in a previous vlog and i'm just carrying my louis vuitton bag and gold accessories um what am i missing oh boots the boots are these boots that i showed you guys in a previous vlog they actually come up a bit higher let me see see if I can show you guys but they're these brown boots I got them from Zara and I really like the look of the wide leg jean with the boots like this I actually got this top last year and didn't really know how to wear it or how to dress it up but I actually like the way that this looks but I gotta steam my pants and get these wrinkles out before I leave back out I kind of like pulled the sleeve of my jacket up a little bit so it shows the shirt underneath and I really like it. It's really cute and chic and I actually like the pops of color during the winter months when I feel like everyone's like in blacks and neutrals in everyone including me. Um, but yeah, so here's the look. I'll link everything that I can and yeah. When I say I have been loving using peppermint oil in the oil diffuser that's in my room. The peppermint oil is so potent. You can smell it throughout the house with it just being in my room. And my room is in the far back. You can still smell it throughout the house. I really just love the way that it smells, especially during this season. I feel like my house just smells like Christmas. And I love that. So I know I shouldn't but I kind of want a eggnog latte. <laughs> but it's already 4.30. You know what, nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it to myself. I'm just gonna wait until we go to the light show. I was gonna get a hot chocolate when we go to the light show, but I think I'm just gonna wait. We'll go to the light show, we'll come home. Leah has tumbling today, so we're gonna go to her tumbling class and then it's only for an hour. She just wants to proceed with going to tumbling even though cheer is over so that she can make sure that she's staying sharp on her skills because she wants to try out for varsity cheer next year. They have a light show not too far from my house. It's so cute. We go every year. We're just keeping the tradition alive. So we're gonna go to the light show and then we're gonna come home. We have gingerbread cookies. <clears throat> Okay. We have gingerbread cookies. I want to like make gingerbread cookies. Maybe we can have hot chocolate, watch a Christmas movie, and put on like our cute little Christmas PJs and call it a night. I just kind of want to relax this weekend. I feel like it's going to be a bit much. I have a few things going on this weekend, so I sort of just want to chill with my baby. And then tomorrow she goes with her dad. I have two more bartending classes left, so I'm going to do that this weekend. Milo, you didn't get your advent calendar today. You guys, look at my look at Milo. You ready for? Oh wait, I'm zooming in. You ready for your advent calendar? Here you go. Wait, first you have to sit. Sit, please. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Let's open Leah's advent calendar. Leah, why is yours like all scattered like this? Crazy. It was a snake a little bit. Me. Aw, it's a mistletoe. Cute. That's cute. You want it? Sure. You guys, I bought two boxes of candy canes. When I went to go get one, 
there were like three left because someone was eating them. Milo. Yeah, I'm sure Milo climbed up to the candy basket. Yep. I feel like we didn't drive through this way before. We drove on that side. Yeah, they moved it, I believe. Because I don't remember going through all this. No, neither do I. We went through all this for uh, Go-Birds? Yeah. For real? For the pumpkin patch. What was I doing? Evidently not paying attention. Because I don't remember all this. these rocks turn your radio to 88 fm let's do let's go oh my god she did it she know it so i'm saying those We just put up to the... Yeah, the real show didn't start. Okay. The show starts in two minutes, but we just pulled up and it is so cool. We actually are going to do the drive... What is it? Like the drive up, right? This one's like the drive up. They have one that's a drive through and this one is the drive up. We've never done this one before. We've only done the drive through one. I'm so excited for this one. 15 seconds. 14. 10. 9. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh! oh okay, hold on, we need to turn the music up.
thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what okay. that's pretty good. Push it all the way down with the bow. Good job. With glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all oh, that's a good one. From big to small. What you can do, babe, is Warm actually just cut smiles. cut out more. Cut out as many as you can that you fill it. Just do it like this one. And you do like that. Okay. Will that work? Because we're just going to remember we're going to... Um, Hold them together. I'll get the get this dough ready. Looking good? Oh yeah. Mm, can we one more? Okay. Oof. Oof. <laughs> This Christmas on Netflix. <laughs> this Christmas with Chris Brown. So we're back home and tonight is frozen pizza night because mom doesn't want to cook. Like we went to the light show. I showed you guys little clips of it, but I don't really know what clips I'm going to be able to insert. I might just do like a montage or B-roll footage or whatever because I don't want to get copyrighted. So, and YouTube is on it with the holiday Christmas music. Like they are... They're, they're on it with the copyright strikes or copyright hits or whatever. But yeah, so we went to the light show and it was so cute. And now we are having frozen pizza night because Leia had tumbling and on the days when she has like sports and we're not home or whatever, we, we just do like something quick. So tonight it's home run in frozen pizza, which is one of our favorites. We don't mind, do we Leah? We are also making our gingerbread cookies. Longer, let me see. I think where we messed up with the Christmas cookies or the gingerbread cookies is um, making them too thick. <laughs> we made them very thick, but whatever, who cares? It's Christmas. If they're thick, that just gives us extra cookie to eat. And we're about to watch this Christmas. It's, it's there. It's there, it's on Hulu. Okay, so we're about to watch this Christmas. We have on our Christmas PJs. I got these from Target last year and I dried them and they kind of shrunk. I think we should have eggnog with gingerbread cookies. Yeah. So we're gonna have eggnog and then we're gonna end off the vlog. Hi, I tried my best. It's all good. Excuse me. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. A green red delight with glimmering silver all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles, my presence stacked in pies. Take me away, Christmas Day. Take me away, Christmas Day. I'm gonna wind down for the night. So I'm taking off my makeup with the night calming wipes by Neutrogena. These are my favorite wipes ever.
whatever. I just like the way that they smell. Leia uses them to take off her mascara and she said that after she uses them, like she just feels really calm and like sleepy. That may be why I like them also, but I just <laughs> couldn't necessarily put it into words. I'm gonna use this Voicense um, Squalene and Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser to cleanse my skin. take my earrings off before I do my skincare. It is not even 10 o'clock. When I say we go to bed early, y'all we go to bed early. <laughs> I'm gonna use this retinol by the Ordinary brand. I've been using this for a while and I use it at night and I only use it like two times a week and I don't use any other product with it except for my cleanser or once I cleanse like I don't use any other product with it I just apply it all over my face and neck and I sleep in it and I wash my face in the morning and my skin just glows so nicely and appears so smooth and I just apply it all over and you want to make sure that you're only using when you use a retinol you want to make sure that you only use it at night when you know that you're not going to expose your skin to the sun you do not want to apply retinol to your face and then go out in the sun that is a big no-no and you guys that is it we are done with skincare i'm just going to put on my laneige lip mask and go to bed so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's vlogmas do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one good night we give thanks for this past year oh nothing compares to the love that